Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 176. Problem number 176, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says, it says, the other day, the other day I walked from town A to town B. I took a journey from town A to town B. Had I, had I walked, had I walked half a kilometer an hour faster, had I walked half a kilometer an hour faster, that's a kilometer, had I walked half a kilometer an hour faster, I would have saved two hours. Before they go on to tell us, had I gone, had I gone half an hour, half a kilometer, half a kilometer an hour slower, the journey would have taken one quarter of the time longer than it actually did. Journey would have taken one quarter of the time longer than it actually did. It's very important that we understand the wordings. Question simply is, how far did I walk? Do you understand this part? One quarter journey would have taken one quarter, one quarter of the time longer. For example, for example, if the journey took eight hours in the in the first scenario, then one quarter of the time longer means it will take eight plus quarter of the eight, which is two. It would take it would have taken eight hours. If this first part in the first scenario, if you could do it in four hours, here it will take four, and then one quarter of four, which is one, five hours. You get the idea. Do you understand? If, if the first part took one hour, the second part, in the second scenario, the same thing, same distance will take one hour and 15 minutes. The journey would have taken one quarter of the amount of time longer than it actually did. How far did I walk? Let's begin, shall we? Let's begin. If you want to try it yourself first, go ahead and do that, pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then you can always compare your work against the work that you and I We'll do together in a few seconds time. I'll get out of your way, okay? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. All right, let's get going. The very first thing we need to understand here, the very first thing we need to understand here before we do any work at all is the very basic equations that we love to use, the very basic concept. And I don't want to call it formula because always people refer to it as a formula and they make it sound they make it sound so esoteric, so so recondite, so difficult to understand. I don't have I don't have the list of the vocabulary words with me right now, so I cannot tell you when we learn these words, but we have learned these words in our vocabulary lessons in the event that you're interested in improving your vocabulary. Right here is the vocabulary lessons, day 1 through 100. I have not finished all the way up to 100. We are on day number 93. But that's, that's where the resource is if you want to work on the vocabulary. So I don't want to call it a formula because whenever you describe something as a formula, it sounds more complicated, it sounds very nerdy. It's not a formula, it's something that we do every day of the life, which is, which is the distance that we travel has to equal the speed at which we're going times the time, the number of hours. For example, for example, if I tell you, the S represents the speed. For example, if I tell you that I'm going five kilometers per hour, if I tell you that I'm going at five kilometers per hour, and I also told you that I travel for three hours, well, if I'm going five kilometers per hour, which is my speed, which is the S here, and if I tell you that T, T represents the time in hours, T represents the time in hours because the speed is represented as kilometers per hour, so they have to be consistent. If the speed is represented in terms of kilometers per hour, then this T must also be represented in terms of hours. So if I tell you that I was going five kilometers per hour, and if I also tell you that I traveled for three hours, well, how far do you suppose I went? Well, I went 15 kilometers, as you can see clearly. The distance, which is simply going to be this hour here, this hour at the bottom here, this hour at the bottom here is going to cancel out with that hour, and we left with 50, we left with a unit of kilometers. 5 times 3. I must have gone 15 kilometers. That's the basic concept we have to use here in order for us to solve this problem, in order for us to be able to solve this problem. Do you understand? Now that we understand that part, let's begin. This is what we're going to have to use, okay? So we're going to use one more time, one more time, 
I'm not gonna write everything down, I'm telling you right now. Of course, in the actual solution, you will write down here solution, and you will say let B represent the distance in terms of kilometers, let S represent the speed in terms of kilometers per hour, and let T represent the time in hours. That's what that is. Those, those are the three, three symbols that we're gonna use. Let's begin. The first scenario tells us, the first scenario tells us that had I walked half a kilometer an hour faster, half a kilometer an hour faster. Well, if my speed, if I'm going to represent S for, if I'm going to use letter S to represent my speed, half a kilometer an hour faster would simply be S plus half. And what would have happened in the scenario? They tell us that I would have saved two hours. So whatever the number of hours that, that I actually took, I would have cut down that amount by two hours. And that product of these two quantities, the speed plus times the time, is the distance. It's a very simple equation. Let's go on and now find the second equation, which is going to come from the second part. It says, had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower, had I gone half, an hour, half, a, half, a, half a kilometer an hour slower, which means our speed would be S minus half. That half actually is, is half a kilometer per hour. What would have happened? The journey would have taken one quarter of the time longer. This is where you have to pay attention. How much time would have taken? one quarter of the time longer. One quarter of the time longer means the journey would have taken five quarters of the amount of time. Why five quarters? Because four over four is the whole thing. Four quarters plus one quarter, one quarter longer. One quarter longer means four quarters plus one more quarter, five quarters. The, uh, the amount of time that we would have taken it would have been five times four over the actual amount of time it took. And that distance right here that you see here is the same exact distance as this distance because I'm traveling the same distance. Now, we, we, now we're going to work on this part. Let's open the parentheses. Let's work on it, okay? I'm going to erase these two words because it's getting a bit too crowded. So let's use the arrows. So we're going to end up with S times 5 over 4 times T, this quantity right here, which is going to give us, which is going to give us 5 fourth, 5 fourth S times T, S times T, minus this minus right here and then we have one one half times five quarter which is going to be five over two times four which is five eight and then t now we're doing this part right here one half times five four which is five over eight and then t and that is your d here's what i'm going to do i'm going to continue i'm going to continue this equation instead of sort of burying everything here i'm going to continue this equation on the top that's it, we're done with the problem. You have the problem already. You can always rewind it to get to it if you need to. That's the beauty of it. In the classroom, sometimes it's, sometimes it's difficult to rewind your teacher. But here you can rewind all you want. So I'm going to rewrite this equation on the top here. D equals 5 fourth, 5 fourth, S times T minus 5, 8, t. You with me? Very good. Now what do you suppose s times t represents? s times t represents the distance. The speed times the time represents the distance. That's what that is. So we're going to substitute for s times t. We're going to put in d here. So we end up with 5 over 4 d minus 5, 8, t. And here we have a d which is 4 over 4 if you like, because 4 over 4 is 1. So 4, 4 quarters and 5 quarters, if you bring the 4 quarters over there, 5 quarters minus 4 quarters is going to give you quarter. 1 quarter of the D must equal, bring the 5, 5, 8 T on this side, 5, 8, 5, 8, T. Okay, stay with me next story, it's very important. And now, we see, we see that this is a multiple of 4 and that's a multiple of 4. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 4. Okay, watch what happens. 4 is going to go away and distance equals, and this 4 is going to go away with this 8, it equals 5 over 2 t. Write that down here. 5 over 2 times t equals the distance. Are you with me? It's very important, as I said, that you stay in this story. Again, we are running out of room, so I will have to erase this part here. We don't want to erase this equation because we have not worked with it yet. Let's 
continue here and erase this part. Now, what I want you to understand is this part here, this 5 over 2 times t. What do you suppose this 5 over 2 is? This is the time, this is the time, this is the distance. If this is the time and this is the distance, what do you suppose 5 over 2 is? This 5 over 2 that you see here, this 5 over 2 that you see here is our speed. And it is equal to 5 over 2. In other words, it is 2 and a half. We are going at 2 and a half kilometers per hour. That's our speed. 2 and a half kilometers per hour. That's what we extract from it. All of this work that we did here is that it gives us the speed 2 and a half kilometers per hour. What do you suppose we're going to do with that information? We're going to put it in here. Let's put it in here and see what happens, okay? So, S equals right here. This is your S. This, this 2 and a half kilometers per hour, this is our S. This has to be the S. Because as you can see, S times S times T, S times T equals D. That's your speed. 5 over 2 is your speed. Let's put it in here. 5 over 2 plus half times t minus 2. Of course, 5 over 2 plus half, 5, 5 halves plus 1 half is 6 halves, which is 3. So it's 3 times t minus 2. 3 times t minus 2. Stay, stay with me, which is same as 3t minus 2. And what about d? What is d equal to? Well, d we know right here. d equals to 5 over 2t. d right here equals 5 over 2t. 5 over 2t right here, this equation right here. Let's put it in here. d right there, this t right here, right here equals 5 over 2, 5 over 2 times t. Let's put it in here, 5 over 2 times t. Okay, we are almost done. Again, I'm running out of room, so we're going to have to continue here. So we have 5 half t equals 3t minus 2. Bring the 5 half t over there. 5 half, 5 half t is 2 and a half t. 3t minus 2 and a half t is going to be half a t. Half a t equals, and bring the 2 to the left hand side, equals 2 which implies that t must be 4, which is 4 hours. We are done. We know the speed, we know the time. The question was, how, how far did I walk? Well, right here, this, this is what's going to tell us how far I walk. I walk for 4 hours. I walk for 4 hours at the speed of 2.5 kilometers per hour. 2.5 kilometers per hour. Well, if I walk for two and a half kilometers per hour, at, for four hours, the hours are going to drop out. This four is going to cancel out with this two. And five times two, I must have gone 10 kilometers. How far did I walk? The answer is, I walked 10 kilometers. That's all. And 10 kilometers is not what I have for distance here. Two and a half times 12 I have. Did I make a mistake here? Yes, I made a mistake. Because that's not what I have in my notes. I have to go and fix my mistake. And I'm going to do it with red pen. It's a good thing I checked here. I made a mistake right here. See? 3 times t. 3 times t is 3t. And 3 times 2 is not 2. It is 6. Which, is, which means 3t minus 2 and a half t. Half t does not equal 2. It equals 6 which means t equals not 4, but 12. So, we don't have 4, we have 12. Let me redo this part. Let me redo this part. The distance... The distance is what we are trying to figure out. The distance is what we are trying to figure out. And the distance would have to be 12 hours distance is equal to the speed which is five two and a half hours per mile which is five half kilometers per hour times 12 hours and two is going to cancel out with this 12 which is going to give us six and five times two is 30. five times two is 30. 
you, you notice if you've been watching these videos in their proper sequence, you notice that at the end of every problem, we, we, we make a point of verifying our answer, make sure our answer is correct. And for once, for once, I was lazy not to do that. I had, I had, the, I had the urge to just get out, get the hell out of here. And I was about to end the video without verifying my work. It's just a good thing that I happened to glance at my notes here. And in my notes, I did not have uh, 10, whatever it was that we got before. In my notes, it says 30 kilometers. And I wasn't getting 30 kilometers. We had something else on the blackboard. And I was about to close the video without verifying it, which is why, which, which, which shows you the importance of verification. You must always verify your work. It only takes a few seconds. Should we verify it here? Let's see if we can do verify it here, okay? In order for us to verify it, we need the room. So I'm going to have to erase a lot of stuff here. Which, what can we erase here? Let's erase it right, right here. So we already know that we are going at two and a half kilometers per hour. Listen very carefully. We are going at two and a half kilometers per hour. The first sentence told us that had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster, well, if you're going at two and a half kilometers per hour, then if you go half a kilometer faster, you're going three kilometers per hour. And how, how much is the distance that we're covering? We're covering a distance of 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers. How many hours did we say we took? We took 12 hours right here. You see, we took 12 hours. And notice, if you're going 30 kilometers at 3 kilometers per hour, if you're going 30 kilometers at 3 kilometers per hour, you can do that in 10 hours. You can do that in 10 hours. Two hours are going to cancel out, and 10 times 3 is 30 kilometers. You can do the journey in 10 hours, which is exactly what the problem told us. Problem, I'm going to read the problem to you now, one more time, but I'm going to read it to you verbatim. It says, had I gone half a kilometer faster, I could have saved two hours. Of course you could have saved two hours, because instead of going two and a half kilometers per hour, instead of going two and a half kilometers per hour, had you gone three kilometers per hour, you would have, covered the, you would have, you would have been able to cover the 30 kilometers in only 10 hours as opposed to the 12 hours that you actually took. As opposed to the 12 hours that you actually took. You could have saved yourself two hours. That tells us that our answer is correct. Let's do the second bit. In the second part, it says, had I gone, had I gone half an hour, half, had I gone, let me start again, had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower, look, we are going two and a half kilometers per hour. If you had gone half a kilometer an hour slower, you would have been going two kilometers per hour. You would have gone, Two kilometers per hour. Two kilometers per hour is half a kilometer per hour slower. And that it tells us that in that scenario, the amount of time it would, would have taken us is quarter more than the amount that it actually took. Well, we are going 30 kilometers. We are going 30 kilometers. How long do you suppose it will take you to go 30 kilometers at the speed of two kilometers per hour? At the speed of two kilometers per hour? At the speed of two kilometers per hour? To go 30 kilometers, it will take you 15 hours. It will take you 15 hours. Again, the hours are going to drop out, and 2 times 15 is 30. 2 times 15 is 30. It will take you 15 hours. 15 hours as opposed to 12 hours. What's the quarter of 12? Quarter of 12 is 3. So it will not take you 12 hours, but it will take you quarter longer than the amount of time that it actually took. 12 plus 3. 3 is the quarter of 12. 3 plus 3 plus 12, it would take you 15 hours. It says, had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower, the journey would have taken one quarter of the amount of time longer than it actually took. One quarter of the amount of time longer is three hours. The journey would have taken three hours more. Instead of 12 hours, it would take us, it would have taken us 15 hours. This last bit, the verification bit, that is what I was not going to do because it was, as you can see, it took, it took a little bit longer. But it's important that you do that. And if you do it yourself and if you have enough practice, it shouldn't take that long. And that's how you catch your mistake. I'm so embarrassed right now. And the, and the very fact that you're watching this video means that uh, I have the, uh, of course, I had the option of retyping it. And nobody would have been wiser that I, made, I had made a mistake. But the very fact that you're watching it is because that's how you learn. You learn from your mistake. I made a one silly mistake, one silly stupid mistake, I can't believe it happened, where 3 times 2, I forgot to multiply it here. And instead of writing 6, I wrote down 2 here. And we had the, we had the wrong distance. Bye now.